The best way to heat your home is with electricity. And the most efficient way to heat your home with electricity is using a heat pump, also known as a reverse cycle air conditioner. With a reverse cycle air conditioner, we're not creating heat. We're just moving heat around. We can use the heat pump to do two things for us. One is we can take unwanted heat inside the house and pump it to the outdoor unit and let it go outside cooling your home. Or in winter, we can take heat that's already existing in the air. Even if it's freezing cold outside, there's still heat energy in the air and pump that into the house, making the house warmer in winter. Most people are very familiar with the star rating of energy efficiency of appliances. What you find with the reverse cycle air conditioner is you put a thousand watts of electricity in, you can get 4,000 or 5,000 joules per second of heat out. That's four to five times higher efficiency than resistive heating or of course gas, which is even lower. The gas system creates CO2 when it's burnt and that fumes is either directly outside or even worse, can be leaked inside the house. If you have bushfire smoke, the reverse cycle air conditioner allows you to sleep in an, an environment that has been cooled that has not compromised the air quality by exchanging the inside and outside air. In an old house, look at how you can improve your energy efficiency. Once you've gap sealed and insulated your home, you might need a much smaller air conditioner, which is gonna save you money in the purchase cost and it will even have a higher efficiency when it runs. If you're building a new house, 100% electric is the only way to go. That's, you will pay more if you entertain the idea of having any gas at all. And you don't need gas. We have heat pump hot water systems. We have reverse cycle air conditioners. We have induction cooktops. When I plug in and my heat pump comes on, I know that it's coming from a 100% renewable energy source, which has been purchased by the ACT government. I highly recommend people to look at what rebates or subsidies may be available. So they could start with looking at the AxSmart website. So there's two main types of reverse cycle air conditioners. One is a ducted system and one is a split system where you have the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. If you choose a ducted system, then you should really zone it. And zoning the air conditioner means that you can have whichever rooms you want turned on and whichever rooms you don't want turned off. The most efficient way is to have a heat pump, a split system back to back. You don't have any losses in the duct and you have a higher coefficient performance. When you order a reverse cycle air conditioner, you usually talk to the one company and they come out and do everything. So the air conditioning mechanic is the one that runs the pipes from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit and mounts the indoor unit on the wall and will mount the outdoor unit either on with some rubber feet on the slab or will bolt that to the wall. Or maybe it could even be on your, on your roof. If you can have a back-to-back -back system, that will be the cheapest system you can have because it's very easy for the aircon mechanic and for the electrician to install. So once you've got it installed, you're gonna see real savings. The clean way, the energy efficient way to heat your home is to switch off gas and move to reverse cycle air conditioning.